Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about how I got Ben sleep trained. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, I think I mentioned co-sleeping in almost every video that I talk about parenting. Um, I know it's a controversial topic, but it's something that we were that we're very open about and um, we really enjoyed co-sleeping. The reason we had to stop though wasn't because either of us wanted to or anything like that. It was just because Benjamin needed to sleep in his own bed. He would get way too overstimulated being in the same room as us and even if we could get him to sleep, if he woke up in the middle of the night he would be wired because he'd see us and think it was playtime. So we knew it was time to nip co-sleeping in the butt and get him transferred to his own crib. We tried a lot of different things and only one really stuck and that's the one I'm going to talk about today. A lot of moms don't agree with this method and that's fine. This is not me telling you how to parent your child or anything like that. This is just me simply explaining how I did something. So before I explain the method we used, I just want to touch on how important routine is for babies. I know a lot of moms don't think routine is that important and they just kind of go with what their kid does, which is fine, um, but you're gonna have a much easier time getting your child to sleep through the night if you have a routine for them. So with Benjamin, we have a routine that we do before his naps, which is very brief, and then we also have a very elaborate routine before bed. So for his nap, I bring him into his room, I check his diaper, and then I put on his noise machine, turn off the lights. He instantly knows his nap time. Normally he'll just put his head on my shoulder. I'll sing to him for a couple minutes, and then I put him down, and that's it. And he normally falls asleep, no problem. Bedtime, however, that routine actually starts pretty much at dinner time. Depending on how late we have supper, we'll come into the living room and play for a little bit. And then once it hits about 6 o'clock, um, if it's a bath night, he takes his bath. If it's not, oh hi! So after bath or not, we get him all dressed for bed, we lotion him up, and then we have quiet playtime in his room with just a lamp on so it's nice and like dark. And the toys he plays with before bed are very quiet. He has some like little balls and stuffed animals and stuff like that. Nothing that makes any noise or has any lights on it does he play with before bed um, because we don't want to stimulate him too much but we also want to get him to the point where he's nice and tired. So we do that for a little bit. It normally lasts about 15, maybe 20 minutes. And then once he starts to get cranky, we will read a book. Eddie gives him a kiss goodnight. I nurse him and then I sing him the same lullaby that I sing him for his naps and I put him down. And that's it, that's his routine. Now, the hard part is once he's in his crib, and this is where the sleep training comes in. The method that worked for us was the modified cried out method. So basically, what you do is nurse them or feed them their bottle, whatever you do, and then the key here is that you put them down awake. You don't wanna rock your baby to sleep or nurse your baby to sleep. Now obviously there's sometimes where Ben does fall asleep nursing because he's just exhausted and that's fine. But for the most part, he is awake every time I put him down. So you put your baby down, like I said, awake, and then you leave the room. Now if you're lucky, your baby won't cry, your baby will just turn around and fall asleep and you're home free. But most cases don't work that way. Um, most of the time your baby is going to cry, but you're not going to be gone for long. Next, you pick a short amount of time. For us, we started with two minutes. I have a friend who started with five minutes. It's up to you how long you want to wait, but don't wait, like, don't wait too long. So for us, we would wait two minutes. We would put a timer on our phones, and then once that timer goes off, if he was still crying, we would go into his room and we would just pat his bum for one minute and we'd put a timer on again. You don't want to be in the room for too long. If after your amount of time that you say you're going to be in the room, they're still crying, you leave, which is absolutely the hardest part of this whole thing. And then you stay out of the room a bit longer this time. So like I said, we would, go, we would leave for two minutes and then go in for a minute and then we'd come back out for three minutes and then go in for a minute until he falls asleep. His first night, which was 
his worst night. I got to the eight minute interval, which I believe worked up to 40, 46 minutes, I think it was. And that was the hardest night. That last interval, Eddie and I were crying. I was like, if he's still not asleep by this, I'm going in and I'm picking him up. I can't handle this. And then he fell asleep. It was like magic. Since that first night, he has never taken more than 20 minutes. So that is the method. It worked wonders for us. It only took like a week or two for him to fall asleep basically on his own. He's not sleeping through the night yet, but typically he wakes up once, maybe twice. With breastfed babies, it's not typical for them to sleep through the night. So that is all for this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.